So I won't be doing any videos specifically on the ins and outs of each of the large data sets for A-level maths. What I wanted to do was give you a brief uh, take on how to go about studying it and using it for the exam. So to give you a bit of context, um, it was decided uh, in the construction of the new A-levels for maths that um, all of the boards would have uh, a base 100% prescribed content. Um, and part of that is that they were told that they would then have to utilize a large data set as part of the course and subsequently assess on it. Now, the exam boards or awarding bodies or whatever they like to be called um, decided on uh, they, they've all decided on different large data sets to utilize. OK, so what does that mean for you? Well, um, the large data set, so uh, for AQA, for example, is all about uh, the average consumption of different foods um, across the different regions of the UK. OK, it is a vast amount of data. You are not required to memorize great swathes of this data set. So don't even try. Your job is to get familiar with it so that if a question came up in the exam, you would be able to have the context and the ability to answer it well. Um, so it's a large data set. Uh, you won't have access to it in the exam. OK, uh, you are not being assessed on your memory recall of it, but I would certainly make sure that I understand what all of the columns are telling me, okay? What um, is the RSE indicator, for example? What does that measure? Things like that I would make sure if I know. I would also take time to get used to uh, thinking about, well, what type of questions could be asked of me? Um, I mean, in, in the end, the exam, what it will do is it will likely um, take a piece or a couple of columns from uh, the large data set, and then you have to do some analysis on it. OK, so um, that is going to be the type of problem that you're going to face. Now, we can't really predict uh, exactly what the questions are going to be like. So I would suggest that you spend some time, a few hours, getting your head around what is the data set uh, that you're going to be examined on, what's it look like, what are the different facets of it. But in the end, I wouldn't spend an inordinate amount of time going through it, uh, really because you want to make sure you hone your techniques and your data analysis skills in this section. Um, which you can do through the large data set. Um, but I wouldn't uh, spend lots and lots of time trying to remember and recall results from it. Okay, that, um, there's just too much there to worry about.